Yeah. It's just that's just an ongoing fight because people when they got money gonna do what they gonna do until you stand and how long do you have to stand? They always came back with a bunch of lawyers, you know, and the county just rolled over like little puppies. Man. Yeah, I was diagnosed with cancer uh June of last year. Mm -hmm. My daughter, look at her. She's yellow. Her eyes are yellow. Something is wrong. And then the doctor says, you guys get prepared because she's only going to be here for a couple of weeks. This community, the owner of this land or whoever was the one that bought this piece of land. Yeah. You knew that you wasn't supposed to build any homes here and you did. Yeah. And you're killing us one by one. I haven't reached out to Mosaic um, myself. I have written some letters mm -hmm. via uh, the coalitions. You know, for me, it began with the county people, the uh, water department, mm -hmm. and then the FDOH. And that's where I could feel that the the lies were. So I've kind of stayed in this. So they're this. covering up the mosaic? Oh, yeah. Somebody's covering it up. Hey, can I ask your name? My name is Gina Bruno. About 215 million gallons of contaminated water have been released into the aquifer. The old maps show these lands as spoiled soil. Right. We live on the Superfund site. Concerns about high levels of radiation expressed decades ago, but thousands of houses went up in Polk County anyway. Why did the feds back off? The Riverview Gyp Stack, which is one of the largest gyp stacks, which is a phosphogypsum stack, which is where the processed fertilizer byproduct goes to. So that bright red are areas that have been mined out and represent lands that must be reclaimed. The gray areas are areas that are mined out but don't have to be reclaimed, so they will permanently just be scarred up land until we figure out what to do with them. So phosphoric ore is then taken to a fertilizer plant, and the fertilizer plants are all nearby as well. So in the image that has the phosphogypsum stacks, many of them have fertilizer plants nearby. And the reason is because you want to be able to put the waste product from the fertilizer production process without having to transport it very far, especially since this um, radioactive phosphogypsum is a hazardous waste and you don't want to have to deal with transport and all that stuff. So you put it in these stacks. The stacks themselves, so for example, the New Wales gyp stack, which is the one that had the sinkhole last September, is over 700 acres and several hundred feet tall. So from Florida standards, it's more of a mountain. certain parts of the county that's being cared for and then other parts are just being completely ignored. Yeah. And if you're a commissioner, you are to care for all the constituents of your district. All of them. Regardless of their income, regardless of what neighborhood they live in. Right. Oh, okay. Um, this is Progress Village, predominantly a, a black community. In the early 80s is when Mosaic was Gardenia, 
and they were proposing to put in the phosphogypsum stacks. These neighborhoods fought and fought, but they lost the battle every time. When I come over to talk with some of the folks, especially some of the older folks, they have a hard time believing that I will ever succeed in getting the word out as to how bad their air and water and their quality of living that they're forced to live in. You have to remember a majority of these folks don't have the money to just pick up and leave. They're paycheck to paycheck or they bought their homes and they are proud to own them and really probably don't have anywhere else. This is where their families are. So this is what kind of awful land they're left with. Miss Linda? Oh. Oh. It's Gina, we're here doing the documentary stuff. So I want to Hi. introduce you to Margarita. Hi, how are you? Uh, her Sorry. husband and her husband. <laughs> Margarita. Oh no, we're going to be, um, they're doing a documentary. Oh, come in. Oh, thank you. I'm cooking. Oh, thank you. So what about the stank? Oh, can we tell The odor that be in your house from yeah. the sinks, I mean the smell. And then it comes in your house from outside. You can come outside and just it's the aroma is just ooh, you know. I almost want to throw up. Yeah. Do you drink the tap water now? Not no more. No. <laughs> you see all that water I got in my bed? <laughs> I drink. I got an ice machine where I put bottled water in it. You know. Now I cook with it, but I boil it for really good first. I brush my teeth with it, with bottle water. I get my dog's bottle water, <laughs> you know. Yeah. How much uh, money do you spend for bottle water? Oh my water? God. Oh my <laughs> God. And I wish that I had to take a shower with it, but I, can't, I don't know what to do about that. You know? I get in there and I try to put like coconut oil or something all on my skin and, you know, to keep from breaking out. But he don't like all this stuff. Yeah. I do, because like on old old Chris Hot outside, you probably fry from putting all the oils on your skin. When my feet breaks out, from, I, like I like to soak my feet mm -hmm. in their water, and it breaks out and stuff, and it, 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 it like blisters up. Good then sunburn. it'll be pussy, and then after you get the pus out, it dries up, and you can scale it off like dead skin. Mm -hmm. So my doctors, them, don't know, because I show tell them what's this, what's that. You know, they don't know what. Maybe it's psoriasis, maybe it's eczema. I'm like, what? Maybe, you know, maybe. Yeah. So no medication, no nothing, just, what, deal with it. It's got like liquid in it. And then when they bust, whatever, then it drags down to a scab, like you can just peel it off. And I get up at six. But then when I get up, I'm just so exhausted. Right. I go to work. Come back. All I want to do is get in my bed. Nice. That's all I want to do. Get in my bed. Because I don't, can't figure out why I'm so tired. And then you can tell the difference when you, when, from where I work at. When I'm coming home, you can tell the difference in the air. Like, you're getting a mask on your face as you Especially come up through. In yeah. Up in here, it's so thick. Hell. And your house will smell the same yeah. way. Now, mind you, I never have been asthmatic. Never. I'm gonna show you something. It's like you put your medicine in here. They they gave me some medicine. You just, you know, so you can breathe. I got a inhaler. Where they come from? I never had that before. It's almost everybody up and down. Almost everybody down the and street. And I'm talking that some of them get the whole thing, the yes. tanks what? with the oxygen in your nose, kind of. Yeah. 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 Right around here is worse. Then when you go across town, uh, cause the air you breathing ain't the same. It's not yeah. the same. I ain't allergic to dogs. Her, I got two dogs. Mm -hmm. I ain't never been allergic to them. Never, I ain't allergic to cats. Yeah. You know, something in the air that I'm evidently allergic to. Yeah. It was just sitting there just being pretty yeah. with no fish. Cause <laughs> it'd be a fish in there for like two weeks maybe. And then just, we just pick them out, flush them in the toilet. We try to get some different kind of fish. Every time they would all die. But yeah, they living now. Just they can't use this water. Right. Yeah. 
And we drink a lot of bottled water anyway, but because it smells. Do you drink the water here? No. Yeah. Oh yeah, I drink bottled water most definitely. I would never drink out of the faucet around here in 33619. No, I, I bottled water. Yeah, yeah I drink bottled water. The Zebra yeah. Hill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. just, just start getting my monthly. You know what that? Only base. Yeah. Well, actually, I got a system, but I, I guess it's not good enough to control whatever is coming through that water. Yeah. So I we drink regular, you know, we buy the water, but we shower here still. Yes. The filter. How much did you spend on that? About seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand dollars for the filter that you have. Mm-hmm. Which is located over it's there if you want to take it. Oh, it's supposed to clean water. From it's supposed the to. It, it was been changed because I was still carrying a bacteria. Yeah. After that, and they came and replaced everything and put a laser, which is located right here. But they asked me a good question. They asked me, and I was a little concerned. It was like, do you get well water? You get city water, and I told them I get city water. So they said it's a big difference because they they gotta set your system for whatever water you get. Yeah. So if they mixing anything, it's nothing I can do. Basically, yeah. it's not gonna help me at all. Even if I spend this type of money on the system to get clean water. Wow, that sucks. It's incredible. <laughs> it sucks. Yes, no. This is Margarita. Hi, Jane. And so she wanted to know about when you got sick, what, where your pump is. Can you show her where the pump is? Oh, it helps you. Does it help you? Mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go play with the puppy. You can play with the puppy. Show us the puppy. Do you guys notice anything with your water or the air? We put the treatment. Treatment, oh. so you do notice. First month I here. Oh yeah. These people I just saw their filter system. That's impressive. Seven thousand yeah. dollar filter. Mine too. It's uh -huh. how much? How much was yours? I'm not sure, but I think it was like between no. six and eight. Yeah. Like in the first month we realized that uh, we put everything like new the 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 faucets and all that. And uh -huh. the first week was like yeah, old. Buddy. Oh, you had build-up? Yeah. And it was like all new, you, you know. My husband was like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. We, like I was saying earlier, in Bradford County, they're talking about what phosphate mining does and the land values going down. But what they're not saying is when those land values go down, mm -hmm then Mosaic will come in and swoop the land up. And you might have approved this permit, but guess what? More permits are coming because now they got more land. That's right. Now they want to do more digging. The kids that were going to school in Progress Village, they say, we don't drink the water. We don't drink out of the fountains. It stinks horribly. It's awful. Well, so, they build the schools on the cheapest land they can get. Right. Look at Kingsford Elementary. Kingsford Elementary is built right there where Kingsford Mine used to be. Mm -hmm. Mulberry High School is built on top of one of these, one of right. these gypstack sure. hills. And it's got the slurry pit in the back. They buy the cheapest land they can and put the kids on it. So these kids go to school every day drinking this water. They don't think it's gonna affect them. Today, our scrub jays are thriving and we plan to keep it that way. Florida phosphate, so America grows. Make Florida grow because of phosphate? Right. Oh, kiss my ass. That's right. They don't, they don't care. No, Can I show you a picture of a Carolina scrub jay out there? Right. I ain't seen one here in the past 70 years. So. Wow. <laughs> Because they own all the way down to um, Owen. Owen, is it? Yeah. They own all the way down to Owen Road down that way. And they own that way going all the way to Polk County. Yeah, where's that? I'm in, I'm in the middle of 53,000 acres of one permit, three quarters of a mile in that direction, that begins another permit, and then another permit, and then going back towards Plant City are other permits. Almost n none of us have, in my family that's drank this water, has a thyroid left. Well, they've been digging and they got all this phosphate, different stuff. Well, they dig all the way down to the limestone, mm -hmm. which this here stuff that they got all in their pit is pouring in the holes of the limestone. Oh, well, sure. Going right into the aquifer. Right into it, yeah. How many years have you guys lived here? About seven years. Yeah, about yeah, seven years. About seven years. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, we have to use the bottled water when we're gonna uh, cook stuff, you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, make drinks or something like that. Yeah, we don't even use the ice maker in our refrigerator because of the oh, ice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The ice maker. It's made from that same water, so yeah. we don't want to use that either. Right. We have it turned off. Oh, that's good. That's good. What about the swimming pool? Do you guys ever swim in the oh, swimming no. pool? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we never go to the pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we don't want to take that chance of right. going into that water like that. It allowed a memorial to be created both on ground at Dozier. I've outlined some, some stuff and some facts, and I'd just like some answers in regards to these things. I can tell you that there is a state senator that has, you know, given attention towards the battle that I'm fighting. There still is not an answer or a result, and, and things aren't getting better. Too bad. Don't give they're, they're continuing to build, and they're continuing to serve the water, and I'm really frustrated. It's hard to understand how something so big can be served. Thank you.